The Secret of the Red Book. Hello, it's from our friend GM. Revelation 10.10 It was in my mouth like sweet honey. When I ate it, my stomach was upset. When St. John, the beloved disciple of Christ, St. John the theologian, at the command of the Lord took and ate it, he ate the book. At first it was sweet in the mouth, but then it was poisoned and his stomach was upset. What did the book contain and made him uh, bitter? Why did he have to eat it? Why does the Lord say disparaging bookworms? The book itself. It's the book that holds in its hand an open book, this angel surrounded by a cloud, and the uh, what is in his head, and is his face like the sun, his feet like pillars of fire. Revelation 1, 16 says, And his appearance as the sun is seen in his strength is a description of the Lord in the first chapter. With his command, and when he roared with a loud voice like a roaring lion, and when he roared the seventh thunders, the seven thunders spoke their voices, but with a command from heaven, a voice from heaven said, Seal up what the seven thunders spoke, and do not write it. What the seven thunders revealed were sealed in the book, but are not revealed in the text of the Apocalypse, but are known to the saint, St. John the Theologian. Why did that happen? All that was closed and sealed inside the red book had the effect of giving a sensation like sweet honey in the saint's mouth, but when they reached his stomach it overflowed and was bitter. This is how he acquired experientially the experience that this sealed knowledge has due to the, ta the danger to man. The saint knew but also tasted the evils of this world. He knew the demonic teachings of those who ascend from other places of thieves and robbers of every kind. He knew and tasted the false teachings of those whom the Lord says, Everyone who comes to me is stolen and robbed. Know well today's thieves, life coaches, gurus, yogis, etc., and that the thief does not come to steal and sacrifice and destroy, even if it does not seem that way. He knew and learned well about the dangerous, poisonous red book, the Bible of demons, but he endured it. But how many of us can taste it and get away from it, get away with it? For this he was temporarily sealed until you prophesy again over many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Why is it sweet to my mouth like honey? The libraries are full of books, but the souls are empty and bitter. The characteristics of all these writers are that they are thirsty for the glory of the world, for money, what they want to be seen wherever they are, and they are uh, everywhere. They make love incessantly, but all that the spirits that move them want is, as puppets is a destruction of man, the hidden author, a murderer, that is the devil, of course. Their works and days are a glory beyond all, other, all others. They cause with their word, their works, a false temporary joy like sweet honey in the mouth to the intellect and slowly flow out into the heart and kill it. The Red Book a hollow demonic energy, glory, that becomes poison in the belly, in the heart, in the soul, as soon as it gets there. It does not quench thirst, but like salt water, it causes more and more thirst and pain. How many in countless books read booklets, how to be this, how to be that, how to achieve that, wasted money, wasted time, unspeakable, indescribable pain, because I am losing the uncreated, indescribable energy of God, His grace. The delusion is like the corridor that you keep running in the same place. Birth of the, uh, the children of uh, vipers. Evil spirits wait, impersonating good demons, impersonate angels of light, cause sweetness in the mouth. But when his, this teaching descends into the belly of the heart, the wicked spirit enters and works the destruction of the soul. It poisons and bitters the body and the soul. Having entered, it dwells there, and it becomes the end of that man, the chief of the first. Psalm 95, 5. All the gods of the nations are demons and their books. All the gods of the nations' demons, as soon as he ate it, he experienced and tasted it, 
At first it was sweet, but then it became, it, be, it became bitter as a result of the spiritual content of the anti-Bible, the booklet, that red book. Of the book recorded through the seven, seven thunders, all the demonic beliefs. These doctrines of the demons, the gods of the nations, the demons will unite in the end as ecumenism in a trial, the union of churches with a Bible of their own. But before that, the saint received an order, and having experienced the bitterness of demons, the taste of every red book, Revelation 10.11, and tell me, behold, you are again prophesying against peoples and nations and languages and many kings, as it was revealed to the Apostle Peter when he asked about his friend John. Lord, what about this one? And the Lord said to him, What do you care? You will go up, you will follow me with me. What about you? You follow me. But he said what he said about John. I want him. Uh, may if I want him to stay until I come, what is it to you? How now how and when will the Holy One appear again, prophesying over many peoples and nations and languages and kings? to save us from the demonic influence, the shackles of the red book of the demons. It is certain that he is somewhere among us and will remain among us until the second presence, because that is what the Lord says, I want him to stay until I come. He who hears, hears. These are some of the poisons that the saint took, but he survived. In contrast to those who were chained and lost in eternity, by the teachings of demons and led others astray to spiritual death. One of them and Adolfos who had magicians, astrologers, psychic advisors, and the symbol of a broken cross, they were perverted by the devils and confused the light with darkness, and they followed the demons. Christian Obscurantism Demons The Liber Novus, or the Red Book, is essentially the soul and journey of analytical psychology. It is a map for the path of discovery of analytical psychology and Carl Jung. The book itself is kept secret for many years until it was released to the world and only very specific scholars were allowed to read it until recently. Finally, after several pressures from Jung's admirers, it was decided to publish the Red Book only recently. Far from the Christian obscurantism of his time, of his time Jung embraces his darkness. No one else is to blame for his awakening than uh, Uranus at the time when he was a, a conjunction, the ascendant and opposite to the sun. The Liber Novus, a sample booklet which remained secret for many years for our own good. Finally, after a lot of pressure from Jung's fans, it was decided to publish. We put out our eyes with our own hands if we read it. Good Enlightenment and Beginning of Repentance. So don't read that book. Um, we're living in times that are very, very uh, trying for us. I hope that uh, even with Thanksgiving tomorrow, we are in the fast of the Christmas feast, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ incarnate, born to a virgin, the Virgin Mary, and uh, he uh, conquered death to give us eternal life. And let's remember that that is our inheritance. I hope that Jesus Christ makes living saints of you all. I leave, um, well, please leave your comments about this. I'll leave a link for you. And this I've translated from a Greek article. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.